A major announcement today from backers of Tampa Bay's Cross Bay Ferry. Not only do they want to make the service a permanent feature, they want to expand it with more stops and new commuter routes. Our Phil Buck is here to explain their proposal and how they propose to pay for it. Look, here's why this is such a big deal, or at least why the people behind the proposal think it's such a big deal. Not only do they want to continue this Cross Bay Ferry service that has run between downtown Tampa and downtown St. Pete, but they also, if you come on in here, the plan they rolled out today includes new docks on this side of the bay. Not only that, but they want to add a commuter line between there and MacDill Air Force Base. Oh, and if you're wondering who's going to pay for all of this, well, they say the corporate partners involved say they are going to cover all of the operating costs and most of the maintenance and repair costs. This is a substantial private sector commitment of over $100 million. It will be the first local or regional transit system in the state of Florida that does not require state or local operating um, subsidies to work. Yes, you heard that correctly. This new proposal would operate Cross Bay and commuter ferry service without taxpayer dollars. And when it comes to what local governments would have to pay for, Hillsborough County already has $23 million set aside for the project from money it got from BP after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. If we as a government aren't having to subsidize, uh, that's a beautiful thing. It certainly makes our taxpayers happy.